What's going on YouTube? Today I'm here to talk to you about fish. That's right, we're going to look at something a little different today to our usual ICO sort of stuff, and that is Fish Bank. And you may have heard this mentioned over the last week or so, and you may have seen some videos come out about it. I just wanted to dive in, pun intended, and um, take a look myself and tell you what I thought about it and uh, a look at the wider picture and why this could be a potentially profitable investment. So before I go into this, I wanted to um, briefly explain what could be seen as a, a, one of its predecessors, and that is CryptoKitties, um, because although there's probably been um, much more of these Ethereum-based games developed prior to CryptoKitties, it was definitely the first one to really grab the attention of the public and um, gain sort of that much interest in the space and um, eventually ended up making people uh, substantial amounts of money. So I'm going to jump over to that site now. And essentially what this is, it is, as I mentioned, a blockchain based game um, centered around collectible virtual kittens or cats, whichever way you look at it. And what you do is you you buy, uh, purchase, invest um, a small amount of Ethereum in order to get yourself one of these crypto keys. And each one of these crypto keys is actually a an Ethereum-based token um, stored in your wallet, you know, um, on the blockchain. And um, in that sense, it is an investment it's yours you keep it you can do whatever you want with it you can trade it you can sell it and what have you and the way it um attracts value is think um think beanie babies and how popular they were now this is like that but digital form um if i jump to the marketplace quickly you can sort of see the the variety that these crypto kitties come in and you can breed them together to actually produce um, completely new ones uh, that no one has seen before and um, they come in in generations generation zero is basically added to the marketplace by the developers every you know every so often uh, and from there obviously you can create new generations and so by investing a, a small amount and then you know breeding some of these cats together you could um, end up breeding one which is really rare and you know if someone really w happens to want that particular cat because they like the design of it and um, that is essentially what gives it its value and someone could end up paying you know, hundreds of dollars um, or more um, for that cat. The key really to making money with this was getting in early and uh, the wave has sort of passed now, although there's still a lot of transactions going through on this website, um, I would say the time to make any substantial amounts of profit from investing in this <clears throat> uh, game has is, is likely passed um, and that is why so many of the other ones that are coming out now um, are attracting so much attention um, like Fishbank because people have seen how successful people ended up being with crypto kitties despite the, um, the naysayers early on sort of saying you know what is this um, stupid sort of thing yeah, it's a waste of money and what have you um, despite that, you know, some people made quite a lot of money selling off their crypto keys for a lot of ETH. So people are now looking for the next crypto keys to get in on early and, um, you know, try and make some quick, easy cash. <laughs> so um, I, I thought it would be fun to sort of take a quick look at some of the other ones that are out there. Um, 
and I found a lot of these using this website here, DAP Radar, um, which essentially lists um, not not necessarily all of, but you know, a lot of seemingly um, the apps that have been developed on the Ethereum blockchain. And you can sort them by various things like the number of transactions, the number of daily active users, um, and stuff like that. So you can sort of come in here and find out which ones are the most popular. So let's just take a look at a couple of these. Um, these are just ones I picked out based on how well developed they look and how the sort of potential that they might have. Um, this one is Crypto Cities. On here you can buy cities from around the globe and sort of you know develop them and um, increase their value in terms of points and obviously because this is quite a, a limited you know there's a limited number of cities um, the value will go up over time as you get more users and so trading cities with people it can obviously you can increase the value and, and sell them on for a profit. Um, Ethereum on, or yeah, Ethereum on. So, you know, sort of uh, a blockchain uh, take on, you know, Digimon or Pokemon or anything like that. They've got that same sort of style of animation and they actually look really cool in my opinion. And the art for this is, is awesome. And uh, this one actually, I think, um, could have a lot of potential because um, it actually has a lot more to it in the background from the little that I know of it. Um, you can see here you can battle, um, you can train them in the gym, and again, you know they've got that they've got that likability factor, um, and you know they seem very collectible, and I think that is. That's the key with any of these sort of blockchain based games uh, that are like this anyway. Um, they have to they have to have that collectability to them. Um, otherwise the value just isn't gonna go up. <clears throat> um, another one here uh, which uh, doesn't in my opinion, have as much potential. It seems fairly limited. You can see here, it's, it's sort of like, it has that Minecraft feel to it. And in the same sort of manner, you have a variety of items which you can collect and you can purchase recipes to, to build them. And um, you can actually get started here for, for free. You can see here, um, there's a selection of items that you can purchase for free. And um, some of these other ones do allow you to get started for free as well. But bear in mind that with any of these um, blockchain-based apps and games, every action in the game has to be recorded as a blockchain transaction, and that attracts a small fee. So even if I were to come in here and, and buy one of these now, even though it, the item itself is free, I'd end up spending, you know, pence, a couple of pence possibly, up to a couple of pounds, depending on the application and the cost at the time, um, just to have that transaction recorded on the blockchain. Um, and another thing to note as well, all of these require um, MetaMask to be installed, which you can see here, it's the little fox icon. That is a, basically a browser add-on or a browser application which um, connects to the Ethereum blockchain and you can store any number of uh, Ethereum addresses in it um, you know so you can have your tokens in there you can have your Ethereum in there and uh, it doesn't require you to use you know your your key or anything like that to, to view them like um, my Ether wallet does. Um, and in fact, MetaMask is the recommended way of keeping track of your Ethereum and uh, Ethereum based tokens. So, moving on, um, we have 
a black screen. <laughs> there we go, Etherbots. And this was another cool one, which I like the look of. Um, so with this one, you um, basically build your own uh, robots using various sort of parts, and then you can battle them. Um, but again, I like the design and the animation. It looks kind of cool. And um, this one. Uh, I wouldn't say would be as successful um, or wouldn't have the same potential um, simply because I think it, it's more niche um, in terms of that likability factor. Um, you know, it doesn't have the, the cuteness, the appeal that Crypto Kitties and I think Fishbank has, but still looks looks cool. Um, I'll, I'll probably check check more out about this one. And the last one I've got up here to look at quickly is crypto countries. So uh, much like crypto cities, this is purchasing countries from around the world. So again, this one much more limited uh, real estate to actually purchase. So the the prices would go up a lot more. And um, in fact, this one. I sort of get the, the feel, having had a look already at the prices of the countries and stuff like that, that this is a much more um, upmarket one. You're not going to see people in here spending small amounts of ether. It's for, you know, this is for the sort of big boys that want to play around with thousands of pounds, thousands of dollars. And some of these. Um, some of the countries um, and regions that you can purchase have this sort of automatic um, increase in price um, over time. So it's almost like you, you invest and you know that they're going to go up. Now, obviously, you'd still have to have someone purchase it from you to make any money, but um, it's still there as sort of like a <clears throat> almost a, a guarantee increase in value. Um, but yeah, this was another interesting one. It looked cool, but as I say, um, it's certainly not one that I could get into with um, the the amount of money I have invested in in crypto. Yeah, I mean, just looking here, you see, so Hong Kong, 653 ETH. You know, that's, we're talking, well, let's have a look, jump over to CoinGecko. That's the wrong one. <clears throat> yeah, okay, so that's half a million dollars. I mean, that's ridiculous. And you know, you can see a lot of these are owned by the same person, Crypto Planet. Another one, Crypto Planet. So I mean he he's really out to uh dominate the globe. <laughs> so good luck to him. Um and you know you've got the leaderboard here, which would be uh one reason for these people to invest more um just so that they can see themselves in in pole position you know it's one of those sort of things where you see wealthy people sort of throwing their money into things just because they can and uh, it's almost a way of showing off uh, to put it basically um, i'm not saying that's a bad thing you know it's their money they do what they want with it but uh yeah, that's uh, a lot of money. Anyway, so that's it for the other games that I just wanted to show you quickly there. So back to Fishbank. The reason to summarise why I think uh, this is a good one. It has um, it has everything that could potentially make it successful. It has 
where it's simple uh, to use, it has likability, it has good design, it has that sort of cute appeal that Crypto Kitties had. Um, I mean, with the with the sort of fish themselves. Um, it's a low low cost to get started, and um, that with the whole fishing thing, um, that sort of factor of of chance. It's sort of like gambling, um, that also adds to the enjoyment of it almost, um, and the, it, that itself could sort of get you hooked. <laughs> um, so I'll see if I can fit any more fish puns in before the end. Um, you know, just putting in that um, 25 bucks uh, with the chance of getting, you know, a whale is um, it's one of those simple things that, that any game can employ to sort of really give it playability um, or long long term playability and keep people um, putting in more money. Um, but then there's the the battling system as well, um, which is sort of unique um, in terms of the increase in weight that you get if you win the battle against the other fish. With the limited amount of the fish that are out there as well, obviously it adds to that, um, makes them more collectible. Um, and obviously the rarer they are, the better. Um, but what's really cool, if we go down here, it mentions it here. Um, the sort of the image of the fish, how it looks, um, is actually quite unique um, and it's compiled by an algorithm which takes into account all the parameters of the fish and changes it accordingly. So that's quite unique and cool as well. Um, but I mean, you know, just scrolling through this website here, you can see it's a really well made website. Um, the design is, is great and it is a fully fledged product. Uh, with a team of real developers behind it who are out there in the public and uh, you know they've been featured on uh, various news channels and stuff like that and um, they've already had um, you know over 200,000 users registered and that has increased greatly just over the last sort of week um, you can see here and this is where they are at the moment. They've just finished the beta launch and are now in the final stages before <clears throat> the stable release, which is due on the 18th of March. And you can still come in here and pre-order some fish. And I'm gonna talk a bit more about that in a second. So the reason you may want to get involved uh, in this now and come in here and pre-order is that Currently you can get some discounts on these fish and know exactly what you're getting. So I mean if you click on here, yeah, so you can come in here, you can buy any of these fish or whales or mammals if you want to be really specific. Um sorry that was <laughs> that was a bit geeky that was. Yeah. But hey, you know, correct terminology, please. Um, yeah, but you can come in here, you can um, pre order these for a set amount, and you know exactly what you're getting. So you can, you know, you can buy a rare, you know, you, you can be sure that you're going to get a rare fish or an epic fish or a legendary, you know, or a whale. Um, but that will not be possible after um, after the official launch. Um, the way that you'll go about getting fish after that is by fishing for them. And so that works on a, a chance system. And you can see here, 
you, you pay the same amount every time to fish, and that is 0 0.03 ether, which at the moment is about $25, I think. And every time you do that, you get a chance of getting one of these um, types or, or rarities of fish. Um, going from common, which um, you'll always get if you don't get one of these ones, um, or you know, one in five chance of getting a rare, one in fifty of getting an epic, and so on. Um, so you know, if you if you like any of these in particular, you can come in here and buy these without having to take the chance on these ones. Of course, if you want to make uh, make money with Fishbank then the way I see it um, you can once you have any any fish you can battle it and increase its weight and statistics to make it more valuable and um, people can, could buy it off of you um, but the the way I see people being able to make um, much more um, profit would be on this chance system. So by putting twenty five dollars in and taking the chance, you could end up with a legendary, which would be obviously be worth a lot more. So immediately there, you can sell that for quite a big profit. So that is really where um, the the potential for making money I think lies in this. So how do you actually play or purchase? Well, as I explained earlier with um, the other ones, you do need MetaMask to to use this website. Um, because each time you purchase or carry out an action in the game, it records, it runs through your Ether wallet and uh, records that um, that action as a transaction on the blockchain connected to your Ethereum address. So every action will attract a small fee, like I said before. Uh, so you do just have to bear that in mind. You can actually come in and play this now. You can play the beta, um, as I explain here, using the Rinkby test network which you can access by going to your Ether wallet and selecting it from the drop-down. And then you can actually go ahead and use the faucet to get free test ETH and actually go ahead and play that. And the instructions, you can find them here, so I won't, uh, I won't bother going through that myself. If you wanted to come and try it out ahead of the release, you can do that here. That's pretty much it, um, really, guys. So, you know, come and uh, take a look yourself. Um, I like this because um, I've always loved gaming and although um, I'm much more focused on business these days I do like to see what's coming out and stuff like that um, so it's it's cool to see this sort of thing happening on the blockchain and I think it's got uh, potential just like CryptoKitties had um, but Decide for yourself. Um, I, I will drop a link down below if you want to come over and, and check it out, pre-order or play the beta. If you if you don't want to use that, you can just head over to um, fishbank.io. Um, but yeah, and that is it for this one, guys. Um, thanks for tuning in. I'll um, I'll probably be doing a bit more about this one in the future. Um, as soon as it launches, I'll be, I'll definitely be in here doing some battling. So I'll probably make some videos of that, um, just so you can see what it looks like if you haven't invested by that point. But yeah, uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, happy fishing, and until next time, take care.